Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show, powered by Overarms, available now on DriveThruRPG.com. My name is Stephen Pope. I am rooting for the Rams, even though I don't watch football, <laughs> just to be a jerk. And we have a great game for you here, and we have a special guest. Give it up for Drac! Hey man, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm very excited to be playing with you all again. Uh, all of you seem to have gotten into a situation, so I'm excited. Listen, <laughs> everything is fine. It's a great, great situation. Things are fine. Things are fine. <laughs> They're fine. It's fine. We just got a little Wanda vision. That's all. I'm just making that connection, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Imagine putting together the campaign and then someone says that in session yep. one and you go, We surely did. Damn it. <laughs> this is, this is WandaVision. This is it's, it's WandaVision mixed with Doctor Who because something yes. like this happened in the most recent Doctor Who season two. Listen, there, there are no original stories. That's Nothing true. is original under the sun. Yes. So, uh, we're going to do our usual rigmarole. Everyone's going to introduce themselves. I'm going to have everyone introduce themselves, introduce their characters. I got some things to plug. But I have a very special request because a couple of weeks ago, I tried to do a little fun thing where it was like, tell me something interesting about your character. And, you know, Mika shares that Dahlia used to do yodeling. And Eric decided to share something that was traumatic and horrible and made me cry. So I'm going to do a little leading. Okay, this is a very leading question. And and Drake, uh, Drake, you I'm can't just drop you. that stuff on us. You got to give us time. <laughs> Drake, I'm going to ask, who are you playing, and what is their favorite movie? Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, so can't hi, traumatize um, me with this one. Are you sure about that? Um, my name is Draconix, or Jack for short. Um, I use he they pronouns. I play Imeka Okafor, who uses he him pronouns. Um, his deity is Ikenga. Um, the uh, I guess personification of strength. Um, it's less of a god, more of a personification of some, um, an idea. And um, Imeka's favorite movie, he would never admit it, but I think it's um, the same as mine. <laughs> uh, a Silent Voice is an anime movie. Um, oh, and I think he openly sobbed um, while watching it. It's like it's kind of like when he feels like emotionally. I don't know, con emotionally constipated, I guess, is the only way I can think about it. He, and he needs to just cry. He would watch A Silent Voice. Um, Every time, without <laughs> fail, I will weep at that movie. All right. Now, it's now sadly, it's not 100% Eric, but it's mostly Eric. Hi. Hi, how's it going? My name's Eric, and I'm playing uh, Lennox Thatcher, who is uh, the, the tough sports boy uh, who can read minds and turn into beer. Because he has the god Ninkasi <laughs> living inside of him. Uh, and I would say uh, his favorite movie, because it's one of the last movies. I just rewatched it, and I thought, sure, why not this one? Uh, the Replacements. It's a sports movie. But I imagine it's a movie that, that, uh, that maybe he watched a lot as a kid, and he enjoys. All right. I, isn't that the... Isn't that a football film? It is. It is a football film starring Keanu Fitting Reeves and Gene Hackman. Keanu Reeves playing sports. That, that's just charming. It's a great movie. It's very underrated. Not enough people have watched it. Next up, they're trying to figure out how to throw a chair at me from the other side of the country. It's Critical Bard. <laughs> it's so true is the problem. I love you, TV. <laughs> I love you, Omega. So I have to know it. And I'm mm -hmm. hi. <laughs> My name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bar, Critical Bar across all social media channels. Uh, I play Kawame Akinyemi, almost got his name. Uh, the the cool cat of this crew, though he is very much struggling as much as Lenny is. Uh, his, uh, his divinity is Anansi, the West African spider trickster god of stories. And he's also really fucking strong. Um, my favorite movie is the one where the LA Rams lose. Because oh. as a St. Louisan, I am not allowed to to like the Rams. Fuck the Rams. So okay. salty. That, that's fair. That's fair. But 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 Kawame, but Kawame's favorite movie. Um, I had to think about this, and it's it's either coming to America, uh, just because of the iron irony of it, because he literally kind of came to America. Was family did. Um, 
But he also does like the Lion King. She's a queen to be. Stop this. I don't know. I'm stopping that immediately. <laughs> uh, next up, they're a beautiful autumn. It's Aki. Hi, it's me. It's Aki. I play Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny, whose, uh, you know, divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Uh, they can phase through walls, not that they do very often. Uh, they can phase through a lot of stuff. That's kind of their little extra bit of power there. Uh, but they also see through the lies, see through the lies to the heart of the matter. Um, their favorite movie is probably Kira Knightley's Pride and Prejudice. That's a, that's yeah. not what I expected, but that's I kind of love that for them. I love it. I didn't that's realize how much I like... love Pride and Prejudice. I watched oh, it for like yeah, research for Good Society so game I was in. Oh my god! And then I just kept watching it uh, over and over again. <laughs> it's it's just, it. It, I remember being, people being really like mean about it when it first came out and but it's i think it's become it's because everybody wanted it uh nobody was happy about there being a potentially better version of pride and prejudice than the version that had what's his face in it. it's like no but no this was it was a very good pride and prejudice and i really like it and i feel like manny is the type of person who has an eclectic movie taste uh mm -hmm. but when whenever their mom wants to sit down and watch a movie that's what they watch together nice. i love that and last but certainly not least, we are gathered here today for R.I.P. Mika. Um, hi, I've completely lost my train of thought. Hi, everybody. Can we have an <laughs> F in chat for, for Mika's train of thought? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I just keep going back to Steven saying, and now that almost everyone is here. <laughs> <laughs> it was before the show, okay? All right, you know what? I've been going through it. I've been putting together IKEA furniture. I've had a day. I don't. Uh, we love you, Steven. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. I play Dolly Wingrove, our lovable little theater kid, uh, who has the spirit of Persephone, the goddess of the underworld, and also springtime inside of her. Um, and her favorite movie. Does anyone make a guess what her favorite movie would be? Oh, Romeo plus Juliet. That's is it a movie. is it a musical? Yes. Okay. High School Musical, perhaps? No. no. That would have been a good one, though. Same. La La Land? No. Oh, La La Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that. Yeah. I was actually, I was going in between three. Um, West Side Story, because it's a classic. Right. Chicago, because it revolutionized the movie musical. Absolutely. And then Mamma Mia, just so every white girl likes Mamma Mia. Yeah, <laughs> Chicago. That See, is I would have, I, I would have, I would have said Moulin Rouge did that. Oh, that's no, also a Chicago. Kid I mean, I mean, my, Moulin Rouge did it. It was an amazing movie musical, but it yeah. is documented that Chicago is a big reason that movie yes. musicals got the push that they did. It is yes. a very big reason for it. It like it 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 was it allowed the normal folk who didn't care for theater to actually take in theater without especially feeling like the it was theater, list. especially yeah, with the no, cast list. Yeah, like I remember Fear. Chicago was the movie you could get a straight guy to go see. Yes. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you see everybody's legs in that movie? <laughs> she had a comment, <laughs> and he's about to be cut. I'm, like, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Back to the show. <laughs> back to the show. What? I think I forgot My what pearls. day. Uh, wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we got a great episode in line for you uh, this week. And uh, listen, we're still trying to raise $150 an episode or 50 new subs. Uh, hitting this allows us to continue to pay our amazing cast. Look at them. Look at their beautiful faces. Don't you want them to be able to afford their gelato and their Chipotle? Like, this stuff matters. <laughs> so it really does help. And hey, if you tip $15, you get a shout out from school secretary Gladys, who's always funny. All right. It's probably my favorite bit in any show I've ever been in. Um and it really does help the channel. And hey, if you can't, just being here, sharing it, supporting it, it's all good. And it's all thanked. And we do want to send some love to our sponsor this season, Hero Forge. Type exclamation point Hero Forge into the chat to check out wonderful customization, a wonderful customization tool they've created and get your own personalized miniature, now with full color options, also available in acrylic standee, so a little cheaper, a little easier, and you don't have to worry about it breaking. You just kind of toss that into your bag and go for your game. 
it's great. I have one right here that I 3D printed. He is uh, my barbarian from a previous campaign, and I love him more than life itself. Boop, boop. <laughs> So uh, check that out with exclamation point Hero Forge in the chat. And we will also want to send our love to Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can save 10% at checkout on Die Hard Dice by using the code SAVINGTHROW22. That's S-A-V-I-N-G-T-H-R-O-W-2-2 at checkout. Use command exclamation point DHD in chat for links and info. I don't believe they have the critical bard set just yet, no. but it's coming. Oh, they don't. No, no, not yet. Not yet. It's coming. It will come. It'll come. It'll come. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I have something I would like to interject oh. with if you have completed your announcements. Um, well, we got a little more to go, but go keep ahead. Going. What's up? No, nope. you keep going. I'll do it after. <laughs> All right. And hey, if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this as a podcast, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you for that. Uh, just do us a solid, leave us a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, hold nine yards, feed that algorithm. It really does help and helps us grow. And we are taking tips and monthly subscriptions through Kofi. Enter exclamation point K O F I, Kofi, in the chat to check it out on Kofi. You can tip as you would regularly, but you can also join the Exploration Society for a monthly amount. You get the same great rewards as Patreon, and you can unlock things like toast with your tips. Super appreciated, super loved. Mucho, mucho amor. Now, uh, Aki, what are you so excited about? I gotta know. We have rerolls this week, y'all. We do. You reminded me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. I didn't forget because I was gonna say it too. <laughs> All right. So I also was gonna say it. Me, me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all of us last, were gonna say it. Yeah. So well, almost last, all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're it's still waiting on three mind. I'm just hoping it slipped yours. All right. So last week I made a deal with you, the beautiful listener viewer. Uh, if we got five toast before the end, I would give the table five rerolls just available. This is the only way to get rerolls now. And I will say if we get seven toast, they can have rerolls again next week. Oh, he up in that ante on y'all. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. So, uh, before we dive into this week's adventure, uh, we do have two announcements from Gladys, and I still kind of want to end. Because last week was pretty heavy, I feel like a recap's in order. So let's do a school announcement real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, good evening, students of North Point Academy. Uh, we start our day off with a few announcements. Uh, this one comes from uh, the Five Foot Latina. It says, uh, an early Valentine's for Gladys. Oh, hey, that's me. Oh, I love that. Rose of the Red. We love you, Gladys. Without you, we would be the saddest. Okay, I mean, it's poetic, but it doesn't really fit the, you know, the, the, the you know, uh, whatever. We, you know, uh, it's, it's the thought that matters and the fact that you, you know, uh, make an old lady cry. Uh, and then we got uh, one from, uh, I, then we got one from, uh, uh, I'm going to mispronounce your name. Is it? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm doing the announcements. You're welcome, okay, Gladys. I'm doing the announcements. Okay. You okay, I'll get back to filing. Okay, thank you. Uh, Talia <laughs> says, uh, "Do you know uh, what Pan's favorite day of the week is? Seder day. Uh, I'll just wait a minotaur to. I'll just wait a minotaur to uh, if, if you don't get it." So, yeah, yeah, I understood. I was like, why is Saturday spelled wrong? And then I read it and I understand. Okay, so it was a fun, <laughs> very funny today. Thank you very much. Anyways, Salisbury Steak again. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Oh, I hope they have mushrooms. This school is lousy with Salisbury Steak. So, last week was a bit of a heavy session, I'll, I'll say. After a meeting with Dr. Wang, were you... Uh, where she kind of explained more or less everything she's learned since, well, she awoke in this new world. Uh, these This bubble you are all trapped in is psychoreactive, hence why sometimes Dahlia will just get a ravenous 
band of fangirls after her. This world um, is real. The people in it are real. They have thoughts, blood, flesh, souls, the whole nine yards. Uh, this world is held together by duct tape and a prayer. It's a world made on a wish because the devil can grant wishes. He can't alter reality. He's not as powerful as someone like Anansi or Pitta. So, and yet. <laughs> and yet he managed to pull it off. Kind of funky that. After a very awkward conversation where you were trying to figure out what exactly to do, you decided the best course of action was to possibly go through the dreaming, the collective unconscious, the thing that ties all worlds together to maybe find a way out of this world and into your world again. But before you could, uh, you received a message from Loki who had a having a bit of a problem because Morpheus is currently um, in a dreamscape of musicals uh, starring Dahlia usually um, and not being much help as the other Morpheus, this world's version of Morpheus is kind of pissy that this rabbit's claiming to be him. So you might have to go deal with that. But most importantly, Kwame decided to go have a discussion with his mother. Because Lenny had a final discussion with his brother and they decided this world, they can't stay. And we're not going to have that conversation this week. We're going back about a week ago before the four of you woke up, before the four of you realized you're not in the right bodies, you're not in the right place, you're not in the right universe. And we're going to bring back an old friend. Emeka. Yeah. Tell me, what do you dream about? <laughs> um... I dream about many things, but I think right now um, I'm probably dreaming about definitely basketball. Um, but I think it was when he first started, and it's basically a very warped version of what he remembers. Um, he was always a very short kid, and anyone that plays basketball is usually pretty tall. So it's essentially him on a basketball basketball court um, trying out for a team. Um, absolutely dwarfed by literal giants in his dream um, and doing his best to be able to stand up against them on the court. All right. You're on the court. Above you stand in a sea of legs as these bodies tower into the sky, clouds blocking their view. The coach stomps towards you. Okay. Next up, Imika, you're up. Up, up, up. Okay, um, so what do you want me to do? He tosses the ball at you. Go ahead and roll me dexterity. Let's see if you can actually catch it. Oh boy, okay. The ball is about the size of you. 11. Oh, you got an 11, perfect. Usually I aim for about a four or five on this, so <laughs> yeah. You catch it, but this ball, it is huge. It's the size of you, sir. And then you see the hoop, and it is so tall. It's taller than the Empire State Building or the Sears Tower. It's so far away. What are you going to do? I just go try my best to dribble. It's probably very hard. It's literally the size of me. And um, go for a run-up and... It goes and just try and shoot. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me a dexterity. We're looking for a seven. Oh, six. Oh, got a six. You shoot somehow and the ball hits the rim and it goes flying and all the giants laugh and these booming, echoing voices. Um, Lenny, Kwame, Dahlia, and Manny. The four of you find yourselves in the dreaming, being led by Nanako Majima. 
she has her backpack on. She brought it into the dreaming with her. She's got a flashlight. <sighs> Thanks for coming, guys. I was, I know I shouldn't have let it get away, but it just, it was faster than me. And uh, you know how it is sometimes. It's, it's fine. What are we looking for again? Out of character. Mm -hmm. When is this? This is a week ago. This is before you realized you're in the wrong universe. This is before you realized anything was wrong. And as far as you know, your mom never died. Lenny's brother never died. Dahlia had a messy breakup. Messy breakup. And Manny has a lot more responsibility than they thought. We're playing alternate versions of ourselves right now. I mean, I'm, I I'm, I'm now realizing that. And that's like, <laughs> got to click into that because I was not prepared for that. Yeah. Um, okay. Sorry. Continue. What, what are we looking for again? Oh, it's, it was one. Now, I'm going to ask my table because Steven's an idiot. forgot to write it down. Uh, do you remember what I called the crows in this universe? Echoes. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it was this echo. It looked, I don't know how to describe it other than an octopus with a baby head. And it was about the size of um, about... It's about a Lenny and a half tall. Gross. Yeah, I really hated it. But I was, you know, trying to chase after it. But, you know, me and I'm not the fastest, especially when it comes to the draw. And it ran into the, and, well, I, I asked Miss uh, Winter's Ash, and after she was done laughing at me, she told me it went to the dreaming. So, thought we'd chase after it. When we find it, we'll kick its butt or whatever. Ah, thank you so much. Um, and it's at this moment, as you're walking through the upside down corridors of the dreaming, suddenly it gets really dark and I need all of you to roll me dexterity. Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> hey, no. Oh, no. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. I feel I feel better now. <laughs> oh, not a oh. lot. Someone roll. Oh, hey, darling. I got a crit. <laughs> oh. it, the it funny just... thing is, Dahlia's on her Blackberry, not paying attention to anything. Oh, not Blackberry. <laughs> Let me go ahead and roll for Nanako. Oh, Nanako also. Nanako, as it suddenly gets darker, Nanako. Looks up. Did it get dark? Oh God! Basketball. And huh? she jumps out of the way as a giant basketball comes flying out of nowhere, smashes down. Uh, Lenny, Kwame, and Manny, you all take oh, no. one damage. No. Owie. Owie, owie, what owie. the living hell? Why, why are we being attacked by basketballs? By the way, another question I have to ask: Are we technically at full health and full AP right now? Yes, you are. Okay, good to know. <laughs> if I've got to do this to you, I've got to be kind about it. Listen, I was not, I, I was in a totally different mindset, and now <laughs> you're having us play like not, the last four episodes didn't happen. So I'm like, okay, got to put on my acting face because I was not mentally here for it. Okay. I mean, they're kind of like just new characters all over. They really are. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Though I love that Dahlia has a BlackBerry in 2022. Yeah. Well, actually, 20XX. But still. Yeah. She's a businesswoman. <laughs> She's the president. So. All right, Dolly, you're the only one who makes it out of the way, apart from Nanako, who dove out of the way. How do you how do you handle this? How do you handle a giant basketball flying at you? Uh, I step out of the way and then look <laughs> up from my Blackberry at everyone else. Um, are you supposed to be like a sports star? I mean, I, I know it like it, it's supposed to like run in the family or whatever, but like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not like as good as my brother or whatever. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't make the basketball team this year. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sensitive about it. It's right. okay, Lenny. Oh, quite, see, Steven, I'm going to destroy you because this is a, a, a kaleidoscope that I don't think you might have thought about. In this moment, since we don't have our memories of our plays, are Lenny and Kwame dating? 
I'm going to leave that up to you two. I don't know. All right, ask. Well, I mean, Nanako seems surprised to see you guys holding hands when we first came here. So I think maybe you weren't. What do you think, Eric? <laughs> I think with yeah. Lenny, with his brother and dad's relationship in this, would he be out? Would he, if he's still like a sports star, would he be out or would he still be in that toxic masculinity kind of thing? I think he would be less in that because he's living with his brother. He's so he's yeah. out, he got he got out of that situation. He's his own. He's he's much more of his own person. All right, Kwame. Sexuality. He's always been out. I guess what? Because yeah. like a lot of the a lot of the reason that, in my opinion, they got together is because they're close with other things that happened. I'm not saying that didn't happen here, but it's just a totally different vibe. So I don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna I mean, I'm, gonna, like I'm gonna put idea. I'm gonna put it on the docket for now. <laughs> I- <laughs> I personally kind of like the idea that without Dahlia and Spiro being the the official couple, you two kind of just fell into that role. That would be funny, actually. Mm. Either way, uh, it doesn't affect much. It was just, it was it was more deciding how Kawama was about to respond. Um, uh, but no, he looks over. Um, you 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 don't have to do basketball if you don't want to do basketball. Though it sounds like you did, so we'll just work on it. It's not. It's fine. I'll, I will be your. What do they call that? Um, sports assistant. Manager. I, I thought you meant cheerleader. I could be a cheerleader. You know, I took dance when I was little. So did uh, I. It's actually pretty good for like keeping me. Do we want to find out where the basketball came from? Or are we just gonna? Maat, can you help me figure out where this basketball came from? <laughs> <laughs> the golden wings of Ma'at appear on your back. Thankfully, in the dream, unlike the real world where your divinities kind of have that little not real tangential anime background JoJo thing going on, uh, in the dreaming, they take full form. So Ma'at isn't just golden wings. They are a golden orb with golden wings and a golden halo and a golden sword and shield. And they are pretty impressive and very shiny. Yes. She says in a voice that's uh, pretty masculine, all things considered, I just realized. Uh, a lot more masculine here than in my in the other world, but I wouldn't know that. <laughs> yeah, a uh, lo- like any poorly designed video game, a golden arrow appears in front of you, Manny. This way. Let's go. Whoever threw that basketball, it really hurt. And we're going to kick your butt. Oh, this basketball was like big, right? Yeah, it was the size of a person. Yeah, it hurt both physically and emotionally because I'm like going through some <laughs> basketball related trauma right now. So uh... I don't know. Maybe like the basketball team's having like a practice or something. So I mean, in a what? parallel universe, Dahlia. What? They shouldn't be able to access the dream. We're in a dreaming, right? You're in the yeah, dreaming. Yeah, like, we should be able to access this place. Like, we barely can access this place. And none of us are really, other than Lenny, uh, none of us are really sports-oriented. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. <gasps> Ooh. And, like, Manny speeds up and walks faster. <laughs> Manny, calm down. We're in the dreaming. You could trip on something you might not see. No, like Lenny just kind of floats after <laughs> Manny. It's like, also, you don't have to, like, walk or move or anything because it's not real. <laughs> So it's Nanako, funny. I was about not to be alone with Dahlia, rushes after you three. I was about to say he starts to run, but his feet, like, you know, like you start running on air. Uh, <laughs> he's still running when he gets running on air. Run in place. Run in place. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> crap. <laughs> Dahlia can't run in her stilettos, so she's just. <laughs> stilettos, pumps. <laughs> she girl boss too close to the sun. She's mm. a bit too much of a girl boss. I'm so sorry. It's so interesting. I did not get okay. <laughs> All right, Imeka. Yeah. Am I saying his name right, by the way? Imeka, yeah. Imeka, okay. Imeka, uh, not only are the giants laughing at you, now you have an algebra test in front of you that you did oh. not study for. And the worst part is the teacher is uh, like three headed, and for some reason, they're all your mom. 
mom um i didn't i didn't know we had a test um how much of my grade is gonna this gonna count as 200 percent two this counts for your grade in this class and one other that we will go to the roulette wheel for Roulette. I hate this. <laughs> um, okay. I, I can do this. Algebra is easy. It's just letters. Uh, go ahead and roll me intelligence. Look for a six. A six. You got a six? Great. Okay. Um, awesome. You do not have any questions on this paper. It is uh, blank. Uh, I um I think my my test is broken. <laughs> Just because you're Ill, Ill prepared and the paper has decided to betray you doesn't mean you can weasel your way out of this, sir. It's it's blank. I I can't find X if there's no X to find. You see the X uh, has just started running away oh. out the gymnasium door as uh, five familiar faces come through the gymnasium door. I knew it! And Manny's just like... Manny, calm over. down! It's what? Like... And like, tackle hugs Emeka. Oh. Uh, hi. You what? hit us with your basketball and it really hurt. Is that... That's where it went? I'm really sorry. Um... Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing here? here? Yeah. I was just doing an algebra test. I was trying to find X and I think it went out the door. Um What are you doing here? Oh, we're trying to find an echo. Mhm. Mm um it looks I mean, like we're in the gymnasium uh, is pretty echoey. Well, no, here. it uh this one uh, apparently looks like a squid with a baby head. Wait, wait, other, why are you even doing here? Like, you're cool and stuff, and you know, we are in the dreaming, so I guess the dreaming Thank can like cross dreaming. waters and stuff. But, like, what are you doing here? Don't you have like some competition to go to and lose? Uh -huh. First of all, we, I, as long as I'm on the team, we most likely won't lose. Hey, I Second. was watching from the crowd. You all did okay, but I think the other team did better. Okay. Yeah, I think, I... like, if I'd gotten on the team and they would have let me play. Oh, it would have been like extra, like you you lose. I am on the team, so I think that automatically just m means that I'm better than you, for the most part. Okay, um, we all are. All right, everybody, put emotional. away your rulers. Damage. Um. Hey, you you <laughs> came at even me like... first. I. I'm sorry, but I don't. I'm not entirely sure why you're asking me why I'm here. Why are well, you all here? Aren't you? You're meant to be Squid like, baby. We're, squid we're looking, babe. We're looking for an echo. I'm guessing you're just regular old asleep. Asleep. Yeah. I mean, isn't the... it? Isn't it nighttime in your in your time zone? Um. Do I know that I'm in the dreaming? <laughs> um. When they say you're asleep, you kind of have a moment of tick 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 tick. Bing. Oh. I am asleep. Ah, oh, this is a dream. Ah, oh, great. That makes sense. And it's at that point, Ikaga. Uh, sorry, let me double check because I don't want to. Ikenga. 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 It's at that point, Ikenga, uh, who has been sitting on the sidelines uh, with popcorn. <clears throat> hey, you figured it out. Good. Hold on. I've been asleep this entire time and you didn't want to let me know? You need to rest. And also, honestly, I'm very impressed by the giants you've made. This is uh, uh, Freud would have a field day. Fre Freud, I know enough about psychology to not want Freud anywhere near what's going on in my head. Uh, maybe young in. I don't know. Um, okay, yeah, I guess I'm asleep. You're in my dream. Am I dreaming of you? Well, you're not in, in my your dream, dream I, I think the the uh, the common thread is that all dreams come to the dreaming. So somehow we linked up, and that's what I'm confused about. We're searching for a thing, and you happen to be in the space that we are searching, which potentially means you're involved, just you don't oh. know it. Oh. Well, it could also just be, you know... Maybe Lenny was thinking of basketball or 
we were thinking about that one game that got broken up by the uh, Echo. There's a lot of reasons. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, uh, not Echo Waves. Have we met? I don't know if you... Oh, um, no, I, I don't think we did. Uh, I know you came to our school from uh, your school a while ago. Um, yeah. You didn't have your, your divinity yet back then, right? Um, and I want all of you to roll intelligence, um, except for you, Emeka. Oh, okay. Well, I... <laughs> you know you didn't meet her. Six. <laughs> okay. Five. Three. <laughs> CV, you know we have rerolls. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to use it here. All right. Um. Dahlia, you look up from your, uh, you have like six calendars going on because you have commercial shoots and then you ha yeah. have oh, yeah. uh, the film club shoots and then you have the, uh, you know, band club meet and greets because they, they pay good money. Um, you got a lot on your schedule. You look up and that's, when did Nanako get her divinity? And Lenny, you kind of get that vibe too. Like, you can't remember when Nanako got her divinity. Emeka, you know you didn't meet her. And you met everyone at that school with a divinity. It was partly the reason you were visiting that campus, apart from <laughs> basketball. I'm going through my notes that I've taken. Is that a Blackberry? On my Blackberry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where she got it either. Ma. You know, Dahlia, you, you can't get that thing out of her hands. I. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my notes aren't correct, and they should be because I'm dreaming. You know. Um. What? Not a did clue. I, not a clue. When did you get your um, you know, your thing? Uh, my divinity. Um, yeah, that thing. Sorry. Same time you guys did. Right. <laughs> Remind me again when that was. Yeah. Let's like all say when that was simultaneously. At the same time. <laughs> well, yeah. Kwame will have a different day than we will. I'm Please. so. I, I'm just confused. I'm still stuck on the fact that we're all in here. He's like looking around because he does not know. <laughs> yeah. No. Listen, we could. Look, I got the same day you guys got yours. That was great. Say it with us. Ready? Three, <sighs> two, one. The night in the dorm. Night in the dorm. Do you night remember the twenty first? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. Um, Morpheus was there. He was a bunny for a minute. That was weird. Yeah. Morpheus. Yeah. Where is he, by the way? Oh, apparently uh, Mrs. Winters Ash bribed him, so we don't have to worry about him. I don't know how she bribes gods, and honestly, I'm kind of scared to ask. Anyway, um, Emeka, sorry, I'm Nanako Majima. It's, it's nice to meet you. Y yeah, it's, it's nice to meet you too, Nanako. Sorry, um, I should have done that first. <laughs> no, it's all good. Yeah, we're in yeah. weird circumstances, so I get um, the peasantry's been going for a bit. Yeah. Did you say an octopus baby? Well, it's an echo. Those things always take a strange form. Uh, Emeka, you've never heard of an echo in your life. Yeah, you it's like the, like the one we fought in the gym. You yeah. not fight one in the gym. Emeka. This is Stephen talk to Emeka. Okay. I'm the narrator. I'm out. I'm out here. Like I fought in the gym. Yeah. yeah, we fought an echo in the gym. Yeah, when you we, we it, it broke up the basketball game and then we and then we fought it and I don't remember that. Um you remember also are you wearing stilettos, Dali? I didn't strike me as a stiletto kind of person. I told yeah, her, I told her like they were my, practical. Uh, no, this is practical. You have to look good for meetings. Oh, okay. Um, 
Well, I, I only met you for like a day, so I guess I can't tell what kind of person you are. I haven't seen any octopus baby. Uh, I saw my three-headed mother, um, which now that you pointed out that I'm dreaming, makes sense. That's that is kind of weird. I'm surprised I didn't like you know make something click earlier. Um, I could help out. I'd rather not be here. Giants, while well, we play basketball, tend to be really sweaty and it kind of starts to stink a bit well just imagine that they're small your dream it's your you dream control you can do whatever you want yeah oh uh, i okay uh like a lucid dream kind of thing okay um i mean I'm not gonna... like it is a lucid dream okay i'm gonna point at um one of the giants and you're a hamster now um and a puff of psychology they uh they are now a tiny little furry hamster it's a little more cartoony than an actual hamster but it's very cute and very marketable hmm. oh man okay i was so tall um, now look at me we are <clears throat> what are we here for to find an echo we need to find an echo. Octopus with a baby head. Why is it so difficult to like concentrate on the objective? Exactly. Which is why I'm like, let's get back to it. Because I think I am just confused. Um, I think that's where... just the dreaming. Probably. Um, Sorry, <sighs> what are we doing? Does it? Everyone, like, Nanako looks at you, Dahlia, that she just kind of looks at Manny and... It's you know, the usually, hand thing. What do I do with this? It's not usually this tough to remember what we're supposed to be doing at any given time. So I'm inclined to agree with Kami that maybe it's just an, a side effect of being in the dreaming. But oh, Emeka, yeah. are you down to help us hunt down this octopus baby until you till you wake up? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, cool. I don't think I'll be waking up for a bit anyway. Now that I remember, I think I only went to bed like maybe a couple of hours ago. See, and cool. I actually do have a competition tomorrow, if tomorrow even makes sense here. So I want to get as much sleep as I can. Sometimes I'll stick around with you all. So where are we heading? Uh, Nanako, do you have any idea where this Echo might have wandered off to? Uh, Nanako holds her breath and snaps her fingers. And Emeka, you're greeted with a death god with thousands oh. of arms ring wrangling and writhing beneath its long billowing cloak. Um, it looks like it went that way. And she points towards a pretty obvious exit door that you did not see three seconds ago. Huh. I mean, That's we're... convenient. Yeah, let's go. Who is that? Who's your divinity, Nanako? Oh, um, my divinity is, uh, I wrote it down, uh, Izanami. Terrifying. Um, oh, they're not that, okay, yes, they are terrifying, but they're not that mean. They're just kind of dead, I guess. That's not much better, is it? Hey. Yeah. It's part of life. Um, lead the way. Nanako leads you back into through the exit to the dreaming. The world is a collection of doors. You see sheepmen on their lunch break uh, eating sandwiches. Uh, some of them are actually trying to stand guard. And when they see you, they give you the little like, hey, how you doing? Because, uh, hey, you're apparently allowed in, in here as far as they know. Thomas. Hey. 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 How you doing, Lenny? Eh, you know, I didn't make the team. Oh. Do you want us to send a nightmare that way? Ah. Uh, no. I'll get back to you on that. Okay, you keep your chin up. So, uh, you are greeted with several hundred doors, and... 
you have no idea where to even start. Why don't you all give me an intelligence roll? I am rolling like shit. <laughs> I mean, I haven't rolled anything above a three since I started rolling. I rolled three I, threes in a row. Yeah, this is this is my first time getting over a three and it's a four. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one. Three. I rolled a nine. Um, Mecca, you are having one of the weirdest nights of your life. Um, you know, the sheepmen, the giants, the three-head mom, the ex running away, and now this. Um, but you are able to hear what sounds like wriggling. Um, not so much wriggling, more like the sound of salt water hitting the side of something and then making that sort of sound of jello falling. Just ew. It is not a pleasant okay. sound for anyone involved. Um, down the hallway, you see. Oh, geez. The echo. Oh, gosh. Literal. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's an, okay. The one visible eye looks around in a panic before turning to you and then scurries through a door that looks like it was drawn on paper. After it. Okay, I'm just gonna run after it. This is terrifying. How did Nanny, it get here? I don't know. By the way, that X running away, is that supposed to be a metaphor for something? Emeka, did you like go through some 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 kind of tough hey, breakup wow. recently? Hey, wow, the octopus baby. Yes, let's concentrate on that. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. Uh, actually, Manny, go ahead and roll me charisma real quick. Okay. <laughs> A four. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll Nanako's real quick. Oh, you met it. Um, you might not actually. Uh, Emeka, go ahead and roll me charisma as well. Let's just. Oh, no. <laughs> Six. Okay, Emeka. Yeah, you believe them? Yeah, sure, sure. You can just tell the idea of an ex running away kind of crushes Nanako. <laughs> Hey, you all remember what happened to Spiro after all. After what? Yeah, but we agreed not to talk about that. We don't talk about Spiro. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so you said we saw Octopus Baby? Yes, you are chasing after the Octopus Baby, and it, do it dove through a door that looked like it was kind of drawn on paper, uh, a la Doodle Bob from SpongeBob. Me, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I was thinking exactly that. <laughs> yes, you in, and once the five of you enter after it, you find yourself in the cafeteria. Uh, except everything kind of has this sketchy charcoal look to it. The world oh. is white and shades of gray, and it's very Sin City without the white. Yeah, without During the white, Black Nature History Month. <laughs> I feel attacked right now. <laughs> you are you 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 bet you've, you've been saving that one, haven't you, man? <laughs> I told you every slight to me during the every month of February is racist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Continue. <laughs> All right. In the cafeteria, you see a bunch of uh mannequins with no faces going through the motions. Um oh. You see a young man sitting at a table, drawing furiously, uh, <gasps> trying to keep himself as he son. watches these people go by. It's my son, baby. But I don't know. We don't know him here. Uh, yeah, Kwame, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll real quick and add three to it. Ten. Uh, yeah, you don't know him, but you get the vibe that if anything were to happen to him in front of you, you would start. Crying and probably punch something yeah, hard a probably. lot. Uh, and wait, wait, you say he's drawing, doing what? He's just drawing at a table furiously. Like uh, around him is a sea of paper. Each and on each one is a beautiful, full-colored uh, drawing. Even though he just seems to have black paint with him. Got hey, have, have you seen a, a squid baby? Uh, he looks up, confused as to why you're here and why you're in color. Uh, when behind, 
from the piles of paper burst the squid baby. And I need everyone to roll me initiative. Oh, there it is. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Dex plus speed. Dex plus speed. What was that? What was that? Dex plus speed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. It's not the end of the world, but it's not the best either. Best music. Second best music. Yeah. <laughs> the, the title will still be the best music. <laughs> All right. So uh, it looks like we are going to be starting off with Lenny. Um, go, Lenny. Go, Lenny. So go. this thing burst from the paper. Does it look like like the paper he was drawing from? Yeah, the paper he like would rip off and throw into the pile. Um, okay. They're beautiful full-colored illustrations, though. And on, on them, you can actually notice the... The pictures are moving. Okay. Uh, Lenny's gonna just try and like grab this kid and try and get out of the way of, of like get him out of out of harm's way. <laughs> All just, right. Just like like hey, sorry we're like invading your dreams or whatever. Uh, it's all fake and you'll forget this in the morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not gonna make you roll for that. Uh, we'll just say you spent since you're going first in the initiative. Uh, we'll just say you, if, if Squid Baby was supposed, to, I can't believe I'm calling it this now. If the monster is to attack, uh, this strange child you've never met before, it will instead attack you, Lenny. This you won't have to make a roll for that. That's what, that's what I was hoping for. All right. Next up though, is the Squid Baby. Um, and it's going to go after eeny, meeny, miny, rolling a d6 to see. Dahlia, it is coming after you. Let's get that rolled. All right, it rolled a 12. You need, and your initiative is five. So it is going to hit, roll me defense. Okay. Really can you. Eight. Oh. All right, Dahlia, how do you, you take the hit, but how do you block it? Um, I'm going to pull out uh, a briefcase. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and just block the shot while typing on my Blackberry still. You gotta love her. She's out of control, y'all. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, next... She's turning into what's her face from the Devil Wears Prada. Yes! <laughs> All right, next up, we have Kwame. What is Dahlia Dali typing? Or what's she looking at on her Blackberry? That is a good question. What are you work? What are you doing on that? Um, It's just a bunch of notes. I don't, it, I mean, it's dream world notes. So like, you can't really read in your dreams anyway. <laughs> notes about what? Like, 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 like director's notes? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I imagine she's writing like, stage left, squid baby. Oh my god. Pops out of a page. Like, uh crabs, Nick. I so I asked for a reason. I like look over and see Dolly still my friend, like, get off of your phone! Do you not see this thing here? You know what? Anante, do me a favor. Uh spin the web so that that thing looks like her director. Okay. I am um, I am attempting th this is not going to do anything really <laughs> to the baby probably not, but I want to make it at least have the face of the most recent director of the musical so she focuses on the baby <laughs> and not oh, her man. phone. And the winter musical one it bombed. It did not do good. So <laughs> Go fight that thing now. <laughs> um, I love that. <laughs> all right. Uh, Sam? I want <laughs> intelligence uh, range uh i'm going to ask for uh intelligence power actually power okay checks <laughs> messy that's a 10 <laughs> okay um it i don't even know how to <laughs> 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 no, 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 it, it went thousand percent and all i have to roll against it so he believes it um Here's what's going to happen. Dahlia, as it does meet your initiative, I need you to roll me intelligence and try to beat a 10. Oh. <laughs> oh, you no. roll a 10! <laughs> Damn! That's a crit! 
That shit's a crit. All right. <laughs> By the oh, way, yeah. everybody, we just need five more uh, toasts in order to have rerolls for next week, too. Just yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, actually, only three because we have two more toasts, and we will do it at the end. We will read those at the end of uh, this round of combat. So sweet. All right, Dahlia, you look up from your phone. It is Sam. He has those silly poofy pants and a beret. Who wears a beret? And he has his little megaphone because he thought he was a big deal and he was going to do Legally Blonde the musical. And yeah, you were Elle Wood. So what? It was a disaster. It was a bomb. And then he kind of switches back to an octopus bait. And kind of in and out, in and out, but, but eh, Steven, it's got your attention. I thought the whole conflict was as president, I can't star in any of the shows. I always thought as president, you basically default star in the shows. No, that was my conflict two weeks ago, was that I oh. can't be in any shows. Well, this was the last show you got to do then at school. She just rolls up her sleeves, kicks her stilettos off. <laughs> Takes off her earrings. Yeah. Pulls her hair back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can say, I guess like put a little hand out to a Nancy, like get a high five. <laughs> uh, you get uh, six very tiny high fives. Literally, that is my turn. <laughs> Getting her <laughs> off her phone. <laughs> I love it. Next up, Nanako. No, I, uh, actually, I do move closer a little bit just to make sure that. Sure. Um, some of the others don't get hit. Usually. Yeah, in overarms, you always get an action and a movement, so that is totally fair. Uh, next up, Nanako. Uh, she pulls out her. Uh, God, what do you call a torch? Um, flashlight. flashlight. Thank you. I speak English. Uh, she pulls out her flashlight. I mean, a torch is a flashlight. Yeah, I, I call know. it a torch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you watch as it turns into a writhing, screaming sword of onyx. And she is going to slash at the demon baby. Let's go ahead and give that a roll. She is going to miss the demon baby. Uh, Nanako swings wildly at this thing. And while Nanako is a very sweet young woman who's worked really hard on herself, and she is wonderful when it comes to acrobatic feats and cheerleading and this kind of stuff. She does not know the first thing to do with a sword. All right, I guess I gotta show her how it's done. Yes, uh, next up is Aki. Who's Aki? Oh, it's Manny. Um, sword goes up, shield goes up. Uh, Manny kind of bangs them together and then like leaps up into the air and is going to do a do a slash at this this demon squid baby. Sorry, I just had to spend my AP really fast for that. Do do. That's a fourteen to hit. That absolutely hits. So weak. And that's going to be ten damage. Oh, I rolled his defense. It rolled very well, but you have finally broken its shell, and the baby head cracks a little more, and it opens its mouth, and it starts kind of making like those doll noises. It's just awful for everyone involved, especially you. All right, next up, uh, now, Dalian and, Dalian and Mika, you both have the same initiative, so you get to act at the same time, or you can choose who goes first. I will let Drac go first, because uh, okay. Amika has both dice higher than Dahlia <laughs> in those rolls. Okay, um, yeah, so I think Amika kind of like is ready to fight and then sees it turn into, like, look like a person for a second. So like holds it back for a sec and then turns back into a, an octopus baby, kind of looks at everyone and goes, and is not unsure to whether or not they should attack and sees everyone just going in on it. Um, so. <laughs> He's gonna um, rush towards it and kind of, as he's rushing towards it, he put, puts a hand out as if he's waiting for a pass. And you see Ikenga, um, in one hand, he has a, a long curved blade. And in the other, he has like a 
just a, a an amorphous mist in a sphere and it's kind of hard to tell what it is but uh how i describe it is whenever you look at it from the corner of your eye you kind of see the, the decapitated head of whoever is looking at it at that moment which is very uncomfortable so he throws it to um imeka in a pass and imeka's gonna just throw it the skull at this um <laughs> at this creature fucking uh, volleyball that shit i love it <laughs> Um, it's the most anime shit ever. <laughs> I I also, it was giving me um, mystery man vibes too with the bowling Ooh, ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Waffle man! Uh, oh. Five. Oh, that was real bad. Oh. Emeka, you go and you throw the head and the baby Could I? catches it in his tentacle. You can you can use a reroll. Re oh, you re can use a reroll. We still have them. We still have five. Yeah, I'll use my, my one reroll. Um, there we go. That's going to hit. Now go oh. ahead and roll damage. Okay, and damage is... That's better, much better. This. As an assassin, I believe your damage is uh, speed and... Uh, dex. Yeah, speed dex. and dex minus one. Minus one, yes. Um, boom. Uh, so that's a 10. If you All say. right, gonna roll its defense real quick. Do, 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 do. Oh! oh. <laughs> Rip! Ah. <laughs> it's what it gets. All right. Paint um, me a word picture. What's it like when you slam this decapitated head into a demon baby? Okay, I think I'm gonna, I wanna incorporate this reroll into it because Ikenga is not only the personification of, of strength, but also the god of time. So I think what you see is you actually do see um, um, Imeka go for his, like slam with his skull and miss and then um, everything freezes for a split second and rewinds and I think all of us remember it, we all remember the, uh, what happened but um, this baby doesn't so he's not able to like dodge and think ahead and um, Imeka remembering how the baby moved out of the way in, um, Thinks about that and uses that to, I guess, psych them out before slamming this almost like flaming misty skull into this head. I love it. All right, Dahlia, you're last up. Oh, Dahlia is about to get into um, like first position for some stunt coordination that she's definitely learned in, in the past. Um, and she's gonna wrap her hands with thorns thanks to Persephone and she's gonna start fist fighting this baby as she oh. yells out I'll give you a new definition for the term corpsing and just starts winding up going for it <laughs> when did we all become a melee group <laughs> I don't know I don't know but I'm down for it I support this that's great Manny, Manny is so Proud? <laughs> what would I roll You're for? You're very proud. You don't know why, but <laughs> I find this hilarious. I roll. This... I roll strength and power for my mouth. Okay. But you, you have a different thing, though. But yes, I'm yeah. different. You As are a magician. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You, I think a magician's int and range. Int and range. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you're going for a melee uh, punchy punch. Yes. So I'm gonna. Well, go I'll and... say I'll say that I do do strength and power for my fist too. Though these are what yeah. you told me. That's yeah. what I was going to do. Yeah. Strength and power? Yes. Five. Uh, that is going to be a miss. Would you like to use the, a reroll? I don't Even know if, if you it's... rolled a maximum, you couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's well, we don't worth know. it. We don't know what his... Do we know what um, his number is? I think it's... Uh, it's... It's, a, it's, oh, it's between 15 it's and 9. That's all we know. Yeah. So it's if I rolled a 10 with my reroll... It maybe. could hit him. Maybe, but we don't know the exact. Uh, as if you rolled a ten on your reroll, it would be a crit, so it would automatically hit. Yeah, you know what? I'm mad at Sam. Guaranteed crit. <laughs> Guaranteed. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have three rerolls remaining, and it's we... okay. For Dahlia, you... she's kind of winning in her mind right now. So. Cheers. I mean, and we have badass, so. two toast. Thanks to the chat, we are three away from our next from our unlock of rerolls. Uh, let's throw over to Gladys. Bum 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 bum. 
<laughs> Gladys. Jeez. Uh, good dreaming. Students currently suspended in the dreamlands fighting Squid Baby. I am Dream Gladys, and I have your announcements for this weird uh, place. Um, uh, this one's from uh, DJ Regular. It says, uh, one of our recurring sponsors, the North Point Aviary, would like to remind you that our special, uh, our specialty is pigeons. Despite repeatedly calling, uh, calls inquiring about them, we do not have any owls, uh, superb, extraordinary, or otherwise. So keep that in mind. Uh, and this latest one's from Bondo. It says, today's announcements uh, are sponsored by uh, BetOnSportsBall.com. The only way we can make sports ball interesting at this point, BetOnSportsBall.com. So <laughs> please, uh, thank you. Enjoy your dreams. And uh, hey, duck. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, chat. We are three away from uh, reaching our unlock goal. And hey, if we make it to 10, um, what would you guys like if we made 10, ten toast today? 10 toasts? A pony. A we pony. go back to our normal universe. <laughs> Little too easy. Hey! <laughs> we, get, we, get our, uh, we get our other di uh, divinity. A second divinity? Yes. All right, work. If we get 10 today, sure. Chat, okay. it is Black History Month. You got, <laughs> you got three black people here. Reparations. 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 Chat, what, what, he, what they said. Help <laughs> us pull out a second divinity from the dreaming. Help <laughs> us. Hey, chat. Are we, allow, are we allowed to help with this? Month? I took a few uh, test last month, chat. I'm 0.04% Nigerian. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm <laughs> I hate it here. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I'm going home. I'm home. happy it wasn't me. Because it's normally me who says the, the things like this. No. No. <laughs> Happy Black History Month, Nico. Welcome. <laughs> 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 well, you need reparations just for that, okay? Thank you, Elizabeth Warren. I can go one further. Steven, 0.02% no! Ashkenazi Jew. Oh, no. oh my <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh my Jesus. <laughs> to prevent, to to prevent Mika from getting canceled, please help us get our <laughs> second divinity. Please. <laughs> 15 bucks or 15, 1500 bits or five gifted subs. If you can spare it, we need seven, seven, seven more. Uh, we need, let's see, we have done four, so we need six more. We need six more. That's it. And we get a second divinity, y'all. And I've been thinking about this. Oh. I believe in all of you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. I believe, that, I believe I just had a stroke. I really think that you deserve it just for that Mika. It's true. <laughs> that I have was never the whole show right my, there. I have, I have been doing this for six years now. I have never had a moment that made everyone just leave. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, know right. we have a re we have a comfortability with me going. Yeah, oh yeah, I can get away with that. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was real, real good. That was good. <sighs> oh boy. So, um, we are back at the top of the order, oh, my God. Lenny. Um, you are guarding this young man who you don't know, but he right, looks familiar, kind of, sort of, in the back of your head. Uh, Kind of shy, not really making, not really talking. Uh, and the nightmare baby head is currently being beaten up by, well, really only two of you have managed to hit it, Manny and Emeka. Everyone else, like uh, Kwame has been hanging back doing something. Our magicians uh, are trying to do things outside of their, their wheelhouse and I, I just- Monica's not very good with the sword. I think Dahlia was actually like stage fighting. Like she was yeah. slapping her leg while she was trying to hit. <laughs> For sound Something. effects. That sounds Yeah, good. you slap yeah. the side yeah. of your the stage up leg 
so audience can't hear it? It sounds like you're slapping. Them. You never took stage combat? I never took theater. No. I wasn't a theater kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Lenny is going to... Uh, here's my idea. My norm. Normally, I would use, like, some sort of, like, rush of, of liquid beer to, like, attack. Uh, but can I just say, because it's in the dreaming, instead of, like, being a wave of, of liquid beer, it's just, like... Budweiser Clydesdales dragging a cart of beer and like smash into this thing. Um, more of a flavor thing. I am completely okay with that. I'm going to do a uh, go ahead and make a roll as I do a little searching. Okay. As a St. Yeah, Louis I... person, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day that Lady discovers frozen beer. Uh, that, was, that didn't do that, wasn't a good roll. Jesus, you do have your reroll. You do have three yeah. re rolls. I might as well. I don't like doing it, but I'm gonna. Uh, there's no horse sound. There we go. That's better. 13 hits. Uh, and there is no audio, uh, free audio horse sound on roll 20 that I can find right now. <laughs> thumbs me out because I've wanted that. Um, Drink so... responsibly! <laughs> 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 All right, Lenny, uh, that's going to be a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Damage time. That would be 14 damage. Hachi machi. Okay. Uh, yeah, you. So, <clears throat> baby octopus head monster. A bunch of Clydesdales. Just let me actually know what a Clydesdale looks like. It's a yep. big horse. It's a, it's a big, big horse, horse with fuzzy yeah. feet. Yes, it is gorgeous. I, I know that. Does he know that? But okay, apparently he knows that. So yes, a bunch of Clydesdales come by and just stomp, 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 stomp. Nay! But they're made of beer, so they kind of look like a a, a, a liquid rapidash. Or <laughs> <laughs> so it's more splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Exactly. I love it. Uh, and they do a wallop on this monster. Uh, Lenny's absolutely... gonna just say, come on, it's like none of you have fought an Echo before. Gosh. Uh, at this point, uh, Monster Babyhead is going to go after you, Lenny. It definitely meets your AC. Does it? Actually, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I rolled doesn't. a 13 right. on my initiative. Yeah. Um, it shoots uh, long strings of black ink at you. Uh, they take the form of an arrow and nope. How do you dodge it? Uh, I think like it, it like it goes it at him and then it just like gets like like he just catches it and then it's like arrows. Come on, man! This is dreams. Think big. I don't think he knows how to think, Lenny. <laughs> Nanako says. Uh, we toss it over to Kwame. Kwame sees this thing try to go after uh, Lenny, and there's a part of Kwame goes, Get the, like, not my Lenny, you bitch. Um, um, and... Get him, you bitch. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, thank you for getting the reference. We won't say it out loud. Uh, anywho, uh, yeah, he will... Like, get away from him! And we'll um, clap his uh, fists together. And as uh, web starts to go go around them, they solidify into these golden um, uh, brass knuckle fangs. And I, like, put them both up on my shoulders. And Anansi in, like, a little um, pit stop uniform with oil that's actually, like, venom. Um, it goes on, like, you know, squirts them on both. <laughs> Exactly. Like, hey, right, thank you. Ding, ding. And I would go up and try to punch this thing. Uh, he also has a little water bottle that he sprays into your mouth so you can rinse and spit. <laughs> oh, this is dumb. Ah, it's fizzy. Uh, it's Pellegrino. Don't, don't be... Appreciate some stuff. So for me, this is actually a 15. Hachi machi, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. 17. Okay, it's going to take 11 of that. Owie, owie, ow. It is still standing. <laughs> uh, but you punch it and Ow! It, it reverberates how hard you hit it. It is a mock punch. The world 
changes its axis for a brief moment. Um, everything goes quiet as boom, boom, boom. I like, as I hit it, I just look over at Manny and go, why couldn't we just trade powers? You should get the strength and I should get the phasing. I just feel like that makes more sense. <laughs> Loki is a chaos trickster god. What did yeah. you expect? That's why my trickster is better. Rolling on a random table. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's my turn. All right. Uh, next up, Nanako. Uh, she is going to take a bite at a crime. And by that, I mean slice at this bad boy. She is not. She's trying real hard, though. She's trying her best, y'all. What What is her school, by the way? What did she end up taking? Magician? Uh, she is not a magician. She is a warrior. Ah. That's weird, because I thought magician was the only one you could take. Uh, yeah, I, I know. It's shocking. <laughs> oh, it's shocking. Uh, and this, dear viewers, is why you go ahead and say, wait a second, I think we have one of those already. Let me double check before you go, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yes, and. So, next up is Manny. All right, I'm gonna do another slice right at those pustules on their face. Just gonna you know, pop some pustules, hopefully. Oh God, it's like one of those TikTok videos of the zip popping. Oh, Ten? God. Ten does not hit. All right, I'm gonna reroll. Go for it. We have two left after this. And we guess determined, Dahlia, that you would have the crit to hit it. All right. Why is my not thing not working? Sorry, hold on. I think it's okay. being weird. I mean, if Dahlia wanted to attack it in a different way. 14. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what well, I'm saying with, with the fist, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's 14. 14 absolutely hits. <laughs> Sweet. Let's have Give some damage. Eleven. Eleven damage. Oh, wow. It blocks most of that. Um, it feebly grows a large, inky, pustilled uh, zit as your uh, sword collides with it. And it pops. It's gross. It's Definitely on ASMR TikTok now, but it's Why still won't you alive. die? Dahlia and Mecca. Should I go? Okay. Um, I, to be honest, I cannot remember entirely how the system works. Okay. So how... Overarms is a very simple system where bait, you roll the dice and try to hit the monster's uh, initiative, which is also its AC. Uh, as an assassin, your role is going, your role to hit with a basic assassin attack. That is going to be your dexterity and your speed. Plus yeah. one. Okay. Um, how do abilities work? I have anima abilities. I want to ah. see if I can so, try using one. You can spend AP, uh, one AP for your first ability, two AP for your second ability, okay. in order to activate your power. Uh, and why don't you go ahead and tell the audience what your powers are real quick. Um, so my first one is uh, I can see past the future, the past the future of an object, place or person. Um, my second one is uh, I can predict the next action or reaction of the target um, and use that to uh, inflict a condition. Nice. Um, so I'm going to use the second time. one. Um, right, I want to so... inflict a condition. Cool. Uh, so he has this like um, amorphous like scar in his hand, and he's gonna like start slowly like um, dribbling like a basketball, and then feel the legs faster and faster, and then basically do an ankle breaker on this octopus <laughs> thing to just like get it knocked prone, um, to at least make it a little bit easier for everyone else. I do appreciate that. <laughs> That's why it's really impressive if I get if I actually do it. I somehow broke ankles that they don't have. All right. Um, uh, go ahead and roll me intelligence and speed. This will determine the uh, the power of the condition. And spend two AP. Yes. Ten. All right, so that means it now has broken ankle five. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much. <laughs> it does not have ankles and it's just funny. So basically, if it rolls below a five on anything, it lowers a die from okay. a six to a four or a 10 to an eight and if it can't, it starts taking conditions, which gives it more negatives. 
So effectively, you hobbled it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I Dahlia? Think be my turn. Yes. My turn? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm going to see how badly my stunt fighting is going. And I'm going to go back to the tried and true of the other Dahlia and use vines to rig a fly system mm. to put this baby head on. Horrifying. I love it. All right. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me range charisma. Range um... Seventeen. Yeah. Dang. All right. It now has a uh, caged. We'll ro- we'll round it up to nine. Mm. It's not happy. Um, it is still alive, however, barely. And before we get to the next round of combat, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we do have. I regret to inform y'all. Three toast. Oh. Yeah! Which I do believe sets us to seven? No, eight, I think. Because we needed five. No. We need six. We are we at seven six. now. So we We're get the seven. re-rolls. We need three more. You do get re-rolls for next game. Yes. Yeah. Gladys? Good uh, dreaming, students. Who's stuck in perpetual uh, uninterrupted sleep? Uh, it's me, Gladys. Uh, you dream... <laughs> Uh, announcement lady uh the, today we've got toast this one's from five foot latina who Glass. says uh a reminder for valentine's day in the words of the great whitney houston listening to love yourself uh, or learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all so uh, you know something to live by you know gladys has come to terms with who she is, and uh, you know I like myself, and that's you know that you uh, didn't always, and that's uh, it's, it's something you know you gotta figure out. Uh, Mel Pavino says, "I think everyone apart from Mika deserves a second divinity." I don't know who Mika <laughs> is, and why she doesn't deserve one, but uh, that, that's not my opinion. But uh, okay, and then Talia says, uh, "Do you know why the gods love Swiss cheese? Because no. it's holy." Because it's holy. There you go. Anyway, that, uh, that's it for me. I'm going to put out the cigarette. Y'all have a wonderful continuing dream by Desquid Baby. <laughs> that, thank you all so much. And we are three <laughs> toast away from our big tier. Sure. Why not? I love it. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. I guess I, I had to go read. Yes, three toasts left. I was just confirming. Okay. We can do toast. this, y'all. We can do it. I believe mm. in us. Bread is good, but toast is delicious. Mm. Toast is delicious. Yeah. So, uh, we are at the top of the order. Lenny. Okay, so this thing looks... its its It got hit in its non-existent knees uh, and going... Ah. Uh, I think Lenny is just going to... Uh, uh, he's like... He, um... Okay, and he's just gonna like fire a, like a concentrated beam of, of of liquid at him, just as you know. Like, I the, the, this one, I'm not good at puns. I don't. He just fires and probably misses. That's a miss. Would you like to use a reroll? Uh, I've already used one. I'll save them. So all right. Like here's here's put put this in your mouth. And that, that wasn't good. Kwame's brow just raises. Like, you should stop talking. You're adorable. Just just stick to the, the, the pew pews. <laughs> this in your mouth? <laughs> right, put this in your mouth. Listen, I know it wasn't you good. Like oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't understand what's happening, but I need everybody to get their head in the game. Uh, in the game. It's the monster's turn, and the squid baby head opens its mouth further and begins saying, wake up. And it is going to do a mass attack. All right, so uh, Lenny and Kwame, you are not affected. 
However, uh, Dahlia, Dahlia and Manny, you are both, you both take the status. Uh, yeah, I think hmm? I get hit in that as well. No, not you. No? Not oh. you. You take the stat, they take the status concerned seven. It does not have. What does this mean? Dahlia and Manny, it says wake up and, and Mecca, you Okay, it's already a weird enough night, and you fought crows before at uh, Middlesex Preparatory Academy. It's not rare for these things to sometimes talk, but for some reason, Manny, Dahlia, this thing shakes you. There's something wrong. It's telling you to wake up, and it's not... It sounds more like begging than anything. Um, Lenny and Kwame, however, you are not affected by this, and it is now Kwame's turn. I say, wake up! How about you go to bleep to sleep? And I just attempt to hit it again. Wait, I need to ask. Kwame didn't actually just censor himself, right? Uh, I think Anansi did. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, Anansi, Anansi literally, you don't know how he did it, but he, like, pulled out a sensor bar, and not, like, a black bar, but, like, it scrambles up the lower part of the face. And that ha that is said. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> uh, this is a 13. 13 hit. hits. I'm actually going to use a reroll, because that's a low roll for me. Go for it. Oh. Oh, 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 it was meant to be. I mean, it's still 14 points of damage, but I wanted to roll higher. <laughs> All right. And with that, we are out of combat as this thing shatters and just falls to pieces. Um, a congealed mess of, sea, of salt water and bad vibes as these things tend to be made out of. Um, the five of you stand victorious. Uh, this young man who has not spoken a word since you arrived in this dream looks scared and confused and very, very familiar. Um, are you okay? Wait, were we fighting Octababy? Were we fighting Nick? No, you weren't no. fighting him. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, sorry. It was his dream. Dead? Are you, are you okay? I'm fine. It's really hard to hear him, even in his own mind. He's not a very loud person. Uh, I'm I'm okay. Thank you. If. If you can, and like shake off the the hands, and they go away. Just the 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 webs. Uh, it turns out the web, and it gets wither. Um, this may seem weird. Um, but sometimes uh, we let our um, thoughts. Um, run amok when we are too afraid to reel them in and um while that seems like it's fine that eventually manifest into uh, something you don't want to face and it might not be real to us or to anyone but it could be real to you so that sounds i know this coming out of nowhere i'm just saying um perhaps uh Take time to take care of yourself. It, you are allowed to take care of yourself. Uh, um, okay. I, I can do that. Also, these drawings, bleeping rad. And Anansi puts down the sensor bar. <laughs> uh, the, he gives a very small smile, and it, you can tell he doesn't do that very often. Thanks. This is a nice dream. I'm happy. 
that it's nice. And... Also, I have a question. Um, would we be able to commission you to do the posters for the next upcoming play? Oh, um, sure. Wonderful. Uh, I'll have my assistant be in touch. Thank you. You have an assistant? Oh, yeah. What did I miss? What? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Like. What do you mean? This is just normal Dahlia. Making moves and you know. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um. He kind of stares at Dahlia for a bit. Yeah, Dahlia uh, is like, like the power. Uh, Kwame is definitely the heart of the the team. Yeah. Ooh, writing that one down. I would I would not say that. And he like pointedly stares at Manny. <laughs> I I I can be I I am the no Manny's the, the leader, the, the heart and the leader. I mean, listen, I'm I have the pep squad, and I think that's more than enough. I think we all share in leadership responsibilities of this group i, I didn't if mean any... to like put, put a hierarchy or whatever into question anything like that i just i feel like something's off but i can't tell what what do you mean i don't know i don't know sorry i just i don't know are you i mean we're the same people you've sure? always known Say that again. So, sorry. Um, are you supposed to be here? Are you? I, it's my dream, but I don't. He looks you up and down. This strange young man he looks you up and down. He make a. I don't. Where are you from? Now, that's a heavy question. Are we talking where I currently reside? Where my family is from? You know, there's different um, answers. I am currently, as far as I'm aware, I hope, I'm still currently in the UK. Um, I go to Middlesex pre um, Preparatory. Uh, I came over to North Point to um, play against you, your team at some point. I uh, can't remember how long ago it was, but that got interrupted. But yeah, I should be in the UK right now, but apparent but I'm dreaming, so you're all in my we're all connected. Yeah. Yeah. Um Okay. And I need all of you to roll me intelligence. Uh Dahlia and Manny plus two on the roll, please. I'm looking oh, for a five. Gosh. I got a five. I got, I got a, a seven. Four. I got a crit. I, I got a four. Yay! I love it. Yay! <laughs> we're doing so great because. <laughs> Sorry, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> um, this is Nick. You know Nick. You know Nick has a divinity. Nick has a divinity that can create things it looks like a television set that rests on his head and has long spiral vine tentacles beneath it um it doesn't talk you know this you know this and you also know that that's not true you all know this and you know that's not true and mecca you're the only one who doesn't have that strange counterbalance in your mind you can tell this kid knows something he can see something and he isn't supposed to be here either just like you wait a minute is this our cafeteria do you like even even dahlia and manny got that you all got that oh even though we were under yeah okay do you, so we, you guys right, we, we that, know uh, that he's real, but we don't believe it. You know, two things are true right now. 
This is Nick. And Nick, Kwame, you have a very close connection with Nick. And Nick once drew you as Black Panther, and it was fucking cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you know Nick doesn't talk. You're not sure if it's by choice, but they tend to communicate with either sign language or by writing. This is the first time you've ever heard them speak. And you know this in your heart, in your the deepest part of you, you know that's true. And you know that can't be true at the same time. Both things are true, but it can't be that way because they cancel each other out. The alternating reunion alternate universes are colliding in our brains. Uh, yeah, he looks at Nick and just... You, um... You... He, like, like starts to think as hard as possible. Um, and he can't. And he just, like, gets stuck for a second. Mm. And Mecca, Nick has not broken eye contact with you. It is an intense fucking stare. Hey, um... Neither of us are supposed to be here. You know yeah. that too, don't you? Yes. Um, I'm confused. I know something's wrong, but I can't tell what. Um, Are either you going to fill us in? Because we don't know what's going on either. Uh, I... He um, turns to the rest of the group. I remember meeting all of you um, at North Point. But you seem a lot different now from what I remember. But I can't put my finger on how. It just seems off. And um, I Can think I... the most striking one is you, Dahlia. Yeah, you just seem different. Do you remember meeting me? Can I use my telepathy on, uh, on <laughs> them and just like, like just like deep, it, like just try and find the memories of us meeting each other and stuff. Honestly, um, I meet so many people. Roll me charisma, Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> I meet so many people. <laughs> <laughs> you remember you remember meeting Emeka. You remember he got really mad because someone made a short joke, or at least he felt that way. And you remember meeting his buddy who was gorgeous. And you remember Spiro. You remember Spiro being jealous, and it kind of felt great in a really embarrassing way. And you know that can't be true because you don't care that much about Spiro. You dumped him. Yeah. I... I'm sorry. I'm... Usually I, I remember people really well, so... I don't know why, um... I'm having a little bit of trouble with this one. You know, I'm I'm right there with you. How do you remember meeting me? Um I remember um Lenny definitely made a short joke about me. I remember that. That made me really upset. Um and Kwame uh I guess tried their best to um de-escalate that situation same with Pierre uh, I can get a bit rowdy when people mention my height um and then I met you and Manny um I think you all showed me around North Point 
Right. Yeah, and we were looking, uh, and then later on we ended up, ended up playing a game of basketball, and Lenny and you were in the crowd, you two, Manny and Dahlia, and we ended up pulling out our divinities during the match. Uh, which no, I don't. That... I didn't. I didn't play because I'm not on the team. I don't play basketball. That's and I, I was going to say that's primitive, and I stop myself before <laughs> I look at it. But that's prim, that's I can't. I, yeah, I no. That's I, what yeah, you I didn't get on the team because because I because because the paper route uh, keeps me up most mornings, so I don't have a lot of time to practice paper. with the team. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that Kwame and Lenny were on the basketball team? I'm a poet. I don't do, but mm, you would. I get a headache. I have a headache. You're definitely on the basketball team. So, wait, wait, wait. We're in the dreaming. So obviously, this is something that you have visualized here, because that's just not. Oh yeah, he can. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try it. Um, <laughs> I'll like look ahead and just try and remember and form the memory. It's Nick. not what he was even asking or saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Emeka, you recreate that day. And uh, Kwame, you are playing basketball. That is you. That is unmistakably you. You look damn good in a jersey. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Pierre Lenny probably... is there and he is gorgeous and muscular and he's shooting dahlia wink and spiro's there and he looks kind of pissed about it and uh lenny you're playing too i imagine he makes comments about how how much better in shape he is in there even though it's again indistinguishable the same the damn damn <laughs> same fucking thing wow i really i'm really cutting this i'm sorry this is just like giving me final fantasy 10 to uh, PTSD, all right? Like, oh, Waka got fat. It's the same character model. There is no difference. Sorry. Nice. Um, yeah, Kwame, like, stands out that he's, like, getting a massive migraine. He, like, looks over at Nancy. Is... I read... Mm, I and don't Nancy remember this. looks nervous. Manny, in the back of your mind... Uh, I was just about to, like... Maud, I think there's a little bit of confusion happening here. I think perhaps we could um, clear up a few of these um, questions with some critical insight. I can't. What? What do you mean you can't? And at that moment, I need all of you to roll dexterity as the world begins to rumble. Oh, no. oh, no. I'm looking no. for a six. I huh? Nope, did not. I was close. Straight up two. I only have a d6 for a dex, and I got Same. a Same. <laughs> oh, no. I got a five, too. How, uh, is that how everyone? Many, yep. uh, how many toasts are we We have one reroll left. And, oh, uh, we have... Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, all right. One of these... One of these doesn't count because I recognize a name and it's a hey no 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 no, no. you don't get you don't get to do that no blackout come back come back no no come back why doesn't back. it count Wait. you said we could do we could yeah, do you did blackout? Say you could do give yourself ten dollars <laughs> black? no on, blackout are you saying that we can't do on black history month are you okay wild? fine we need one more <laughs> <laughs> that was just my love. That was my love to saving throw. We need one more. That's it. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> one more toast. We can do it. One more. One toast. more toast. One As more toast. As the earth shakes one and uh, this dream begins to rip itself apart, quite literally, you see into the infinite void of the dreaming beneath you, through the collective unconscious, into wherever wherever a dead god would go. Um, you are all, uh, let's see who passed. Emeka, you are not knocked, you are not knocked prone. And I said a six, right? We all failed, yeah. other than yeah. Emeka. <laughs> Emeka's fine. Everyone else, you on, you got knocked in your ass. Ah! Um, <laughs> my tailbone. My spleen. <laughs> and at this point, my of course, my the lattice has a school announcement. 
Yay! Only one? Okay. Several. Several. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, kids. I uh, hope the dreams are going well. Uh, this this next one is from Talia. It says, four Norse gods, one Roman god, and and two uh, astro." astrological bodies walk into a bar. The bartender says, eh, it's, it, this is going to be a weak joke. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this next one is from the the critical card. It says, a haiku. So what is a dream? The truth and a lie combined. Does that make them real? Question mark. Uh, next one is from Melpomino. It says, uh, this segment of the dream comes to, comes from the nighttime adventures of Gladdy. Uh, I stare into the, the blurry, uh, oh gosh, Gladys, you gotta learn to read. You gotta put your Goat glasses herder. on. Goat herder. Goat herder, his eyes as he holds me tightly among the hay. He whispers in my ear, I've never met anyone quite as flexible as you. Uh, I remove the three cigarettes from my mouth and wink. Sorry, let me get those out. There you go. There you go. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> then, then we've got yet another one from from Mount Pomino. It says, you get a divinity. You get a divinity. Everybody gets a divinity. Hey. Uh, and then we got yet another one from, from Mount Pomino. Uh, it says, uh, for the last one, Gladdy better get be getting a divinity too. Hey, yes, you know, I, I I would hope so. I would hope so. Oh my God, uh, and uh, this divinity. this final one is from Talia. It says personally, I think CB's toast should count. But dot dot dot. <laughs> anyway, that's that's the dream. Right. Hope you all had a fun night. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that chat. Um, Did we make it? We made it. Yay! <laughs> My goodness. You're getting a um, second divinity. Yay! You get a second divinity, and uh, I'll figure out how that's going to work mechanically. And you get five rolls next session. Woo so, <laughs> so the five of you are pulled away from each other. Actually, seven of you, if you count Nick and Nanako. Nanako is bare. Nanako also wasn't able to hold on, and Nick is being pulled away from the rest of you. Something red is wrapped around him. Um, as he goes further and further away, um, you all feel this terror overcome you, and then you wake up. Emeka, you wake up in your dorm room. We're taking a nap. It's a nice day out. It's strange. And your heart won't stop beating. Um, okay. Dream, but not really a dream. It feels like. I'm gonna, like, immediately go lie down again and try to go back to sleep. Just, like, think, like, okay, uh, not the North Point guys the most point guys i'm just trying to fall back to sleep to see as you're trying to fall back to sleep there is a furious knock at your door five more minutes i need to talk to you it's a very deep voice it's an american accent you don't recognize it who are you <laughs> yes, my name I is knew dr it. ash we need to talk okay um uh, hold on I sleep in just my boxes and let me put some clothes on. Um, I'm gonna quickly get changed. Yeah, come in. Thank you. He comes in and as he does, we cut back around the world to the other side, back to North Point, Washington. As the four of you awaken, um, confused, you were all, you. Nanako has done this a million times, so you're all in the same room as you snap awake. She's holding her head, concerned, and uh, you. I need all of you to roll me intelligence, and I'm looking for a seven. Ha! 
I can't make that. I only have a D6. I better I fucking... have a D10. I have a D8, and I only got two. I gotta do real, real literally. This is like a couple, couple goals. We've gotten the same number. I mean, I times. crit. <laughs> I rolled the highest I could roll. I know, I know, but crits only happen when it's both the dice. Um, How many rerolls we got? We have one reroll left. All right, who's who? Who wants it? I have the best chance of getting it potentially, but I mean, also Mika Dahlia. does. So, it's so yeah. mean, Steven. I yeah, rolled no, literally the highest it. I could roll and I still can't get it. I know. Do you want to do uh, it, Mika, or? You, take it. I'm scared. I've been rolling like crap this entire day. Last re-roll come on, here. come on, come on. The divinity I am, I am, I am, I have in my mind for my second. Let me just pull from you. Let it happen. This also tracks with the divinity I have in mind. Too. <laughs> it's also I, I'm just gonna roll to see if I could have made it. No. <laughs> we got the exact same numbers we got before. Roll 20 is broken. Roll 20 is borked. Um, yeah, I think it's broken. We should roll again. I think okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I think there's probably like, you know, it just hasn't caught up. <laughs> you all awaken and you don't remember anything about what you just did like so many dreams it's just gone but you the name nick rings a bell but you never find him there's no nick at the school he was never a student here and that was a week ago about a week ago, a week ago. now CB, Kwame, Kwame stands in front of his mother. She has Abba playing in the background uh, as she works and she looks up and she smiles warmly and you remember the stream. And Manny and Dahlia, as you two enter uh, the Galana dorms, you remember the dream and Lenny, as you join, if you trail behind them, trying not to think about the fact that your brother's still on campus, he's still here. You remember it too. Emeka, you have a very strange long meeting with Dr. Ash and you're going to America. Oh, and that is where we are calling this very special episode of New Pantheon Academia. He really stretching that torment out for you, Cre- CV. I am yeah, I'm aware. I'm, sorry. I'm aware. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, this was a long one. This was a big one. I am so sorry, CB. I don't mean to keep doing this. Next week, I swear to God, you will have. The horrible trauma tears next week. Oh no! Uh, I look like pff, pff, no. I refuse. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing it next week. No, no, we're doing it next week. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. Ah, uh, wow. Um, I am going to be spending the week trying to figure out how to make two divinities work. Didn't think this one through. <laughs> Good job, Stephen. But hey, thank you, Chat, for making Woo-hoo. that happen. Um, we have a few, uh, end of show announcements. And before we get to that, uh, my name's Stephen Pope. You can find me online at the professional Hobbit. I'm really only on TikTok. Uh, I'm rebuilding my website right now though. So you'll be able to contact me there if you really want to, I guess. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to need you to take that self-deprecating tone down like a whole yeah. ton notches. What? And actually, <laughs> what was self-deprecating? Actually, just the whole, maybe I'm worth your time, maybe I'm not energy. I just need you to put that in full reverse. Steven is absolutely worth your time, everybody. Invest in him because we're because he's awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you, and I appreciate the compliment. See, I can take a compliment. It's fine. I, I've been working on myself. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, so you can catch me on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit, all one word, and that's kind of it for me right now. Uh, queers, Coming soon from Son of Oak, 
which recently just uh, released their new game uh, set in the city of Mist Universe. It uses a new system. I wish I could remember the name. I will have that next week, I swear to God. But it's not the one I'm writing, so it wasn't my priority. My life is queers right now. So, uh, Drac, thank, Drake, thank you so much for being here this week. This was awesome. <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm sorry uh, for throwing you in the deep end. Where can they find no. you? You're good. Um, yeah, so you can find me on Twitter at Draconics. Uh, that's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. Uh, I stream all over the place. I won't like go through the, all of my schedule, but the thing that I have, do have coming up that I'm excited about is actually here on Saving Throw Show on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. We're going to have the finale of um, of our RPG Society um, uh, um, Avatar Legends uh, miniseries. We're going to hopefully find all of our slutty dad. Um, anyone who's he watched it knows what we're talking about. We're slutty dad, a... you say? Yeah. Um, oh, no. My character well, despises um, him. But yeah, uh, we're going to be looking for our slutty dad who seems to be in a prison in the uh, palace of the Fire Nation. So we're all going to be heading there. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch, yeah, I'll catch you there. Everything will be fine until they attack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Freaking awesome. All right. Uh, well, since you paid me a, a very kind compliment, Aki, where can they find you? You all can find me on Twitter at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And my entire streaming schedule, such as it is, can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Hidari Aki. That's S H I B A R E A K I. Uh, the next thing that I'll be in uh, hasn't been announced yet, but it will be this week. So keep your eye on my social media. Uh, it'll be happening on Wednesday. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited about it. Fucking rad. All right. Uh, Eric? Uh, yeah, they can always find me, mostly Eric, on all the social medias. And that's that's where that's where I am, when, if you want to look for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to plug? None at the moment. All right. And Mika? Hi. Uh, I'm R.I.P. Mika. You can find me on any social media site at R.I.P. Mika. Um, you can find me tomorrow and then every following Monday for 20 Mondays um, over on Fear HQ's Twitch channel. We are bringing Kolok back finally after like a two year Ooh, hiatus. It's so good. I'm um, excited. And it's 30 years in the future. Uh, and it, if you don't know anything about Kolok, it's also a good jumping on point. Um, think of the first two seasons as prequel seasons. Um, if you want to get all like the cool Easter egg stuff, you can watch those. But if you want to watch, it'll be fun. It'll be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific? Pacific, yes. Over on Fear HQ's channel. Very good. Yeah. I highly recommend it. It's Colok inspired cool. me to get into teach RPGs, so I'm very excited to see you. No comment. way. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Oh. The season will be like five times as dark as the other seasons. I'm oh ready. God. I'm so ready. <laughs> I love that a spinoff from Ten Candles, the game where canonically yeah. everyone dies, <laughs> yeah. can get darker. Also, I get to be married to Abria for one hour each week. That's and the dream. Yeah. It is the absolute dream. Uh, she is, I'm sorry, Your Honor, she's a queen and we must stand. Yes. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Omega, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bar. It's Critical Bar across all social media channels. Uh, lots of cool things happening for me this week. Uh, you can catch uh, Tides of Wildmouth tomorrow on youtube.com slash realmsmith. Uh, you can catch, uh, I am one of the um, watch party ambassadors for the Legend of Fox Machina. We'll be watching the last three episodes next Friday, uh, which is stress.com. Uh, I just announced that I am one of the newest Fog Whispers for Dead by Daylight, so you can catch me doing a lot yeah. of Dead by Daylight content on my channel uh, all day, every day, because that's what we do. There's something I, I I want to announce it very badly, but I am unsure if I can. So keep a lookout for my socials, but there's a big thing that I am starting this Thursday, uh, and I'm it is stressful but i'm very very excited for the opportunity uh Thursday, and yeah it's such a fun day to, all right to mention uh and i can't think of anything else immediately yes yeah just, just look at my socials lots of stuff is happening i just can't talk about half of it <laughs> that is so cool uh so 
as that role for Dead by Daylight, are you like just an official streamer or? I'm one of the, so I'm, I'm, I'm basically a Dead by Daylight partner. Oh, that's sick. So cool. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, I love I'm that. I'm one of the, one of the people who, you know, represent the game. Um, I'm very you excited. Get all the cool swag. Get all the cool swag. Yeah. Okay. I, I gotta be real. I thought for a moment it meant you were going to be a, like, <laughs> the vo a voice in Dead by Daylight. Oh, I was no. like, God damn! We are the whispers in the fog. We are the ones guiding the survivors to to help them in their journey. Is basically what it, the idea of it. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Um, special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. We super appreciate. It. Couldn't be done without you, man. And before we go, we have but one more toast. Eric, if you would. <laughs> One final announcement, uh, students of North Point Academy, this one comes... Are you comes... holding four cigarettes right now? I'm holding five cigarettes. Oh, uh, my mistake. Uh, this one comes from Mika, uh, and it goes a little something like this. I dream the dream of times gone by, when hope was high and life was living. <laughs> I dreamed that love would never die. Are you the DMCA for this? <laughs> I dreamed I that so. God would be forgiven. Then I was young and unafraid. <laughs> and dreams were made and used and wasted. Oh, there was no reason <laughs> to be made. That's where it goes. That's all you get. <laughs> night, Amazing. Everyone. My life is incredible. My dream. <laughs> all right. Jesus, Good night, pleasure. everybody. <laughs> <laughs>